Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash The Rob Burgess Show. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to the Rob Burgess Show. I am, of course, your host, Rob Burgess. On this, our 17th episode, our guest is the Kingdom of Sweden. But before we get to that, I need to take a moment to tell you about our sponsor. For you, the listeners of the Rob Burgess Show podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their service. A book I would personally recommend that pertains to this episode is Sweden Adventure Guide, written by Elizabeth Olsen and narrated by Norman Gilligan. At almost 14 hours, this unabridged audiobook can be yours for free. Whatever book you pick, you can exchange it at any time, you can cancel at any time, and the books are yours to keep. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com forward slash The Rob Burgess Show. Again, that's audibletrial.com forward slash The Rob Burgess Show for your free audiobook. Please consider supporting those who support the show like Audible. You'll be helping me out, and it won't cost you a thing. Another totally free way you can help the show is to comment, follow, like, subscribe, share, rate, and review everywhere the podcast is available. Whether it's iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play Music, Facebook, Twitter, TuneIn, or RSS, you can find links to everything on the official website, www.therobburgessshow.com. You can also find out more about me by visiting my website, www.thisburgess.com. Back to today's show. You first heard from this Scandinavian country on episode 6 of the podcast. On that episode, I took advantage of a new program called The Swedish Number to call randomly selected Swedes for almost three hours. For more about this program, pause this episode and go back to listen to that episode. It had been an eventful 10 weeks since the last time I spoke to Sweden, and I decided to call back. Thank you for calling Sweden. The Swedish number is now closed. During the 79 days it was open, 179,126 calls were made from 186 countries. Again, thank you for calling Sweden. I was shocked. I hadn't considered the fact that the window had closed. So I decided to call the Swedish Tourist Association, who had introduced the Swedish number in the first place. I found the phone number of Jenny Angstrom, their communications manager, and dialed it to find out what was going on. Ariane? Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, who am I speaking with? This is Jenny. Oh, hi, Jenny. Uh, my name is Rob Burgess. How are you? I'm fine. I'm asleep. That is okay. Oh, I'm so sorry for waking you. Okay. What can I help you with? Um, I just wanted to let you know that I have a podcast and I'm recording this. Is that okay? I'm not going to... Um... I'm not, I'm not going to add... you call me back like in an hour, one hour or something? One hour? Okay. Yeah, what time is it now? <laughs> well, I'm calling from America, yeah. so I'm sorry for yeah. for, for, for not knowing what time it was. Okay, well... Um, but I, call me like one hour or something. Okay, definitely. I'll talk to you in an okay. hour. Perfect. Bye. Yeah, perfect. Two hours later, I called back. 
On a side note, I incorrectly told Jenny the previous Swedish episode was episode 4 instead of episode 6. And to my great shame, I cited the wrong Bruce Willis movie. It was The Fifth Element, not Die Hard. My apologies. Hi, this is Jenny. (laughs) Hey, Jenny, it's Rob calling you back. Oh, hi, how are you? Good, good. I'm sorry for calling you so early. I... <laughs> uh, it's okay. It wasn't that early. It was like 7 o'clock, but I was asleep anyway, so... <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, I, uh, like I said, I have a, a podcast, um, and yeah. I called the Swedish number. Um, I'm going to go with, like, at least, like, two and a half months ago. Like, it was when it first opened. Um, oh, okay. And I... Uh, I talked to a bunch of different Swedes, uh, talked for almost three hours, actually. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, just everyone I talked to was really cool, and uh, yeah, I thought it was really neat. But um, uh, before we go any further, would you just go ahead and tell me about yourself, what, what is your position, and, and what do you do there? Uh, I work at the Swedish Tourist Association, and I'm the communi- uh, communication manager, or whatever you call it in English, I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm in charge to that the our business or Sweden uh, will, you know, get more people to come to Sweden, or stay in Sweden, and tra- mostly like the Swedish people to travel in Sweden also. Mm. Okay. Um, so, now, the Swedish number, wh- whose idea was that? Well, how did that come about, the idea to do that? I was this uh, <coughs> farm that came to us, Bureau, and told us, we have a great idea. Do you want to do it? And we were like, uh, okay, because we're a non-profit organization, and we were like, okay, our biggest thing is to get people to explore Sweden, but it's mostly like the Swedish people, uh, because we don't want them to go abroad, or they can go abroad if they want to, but mm. we were like, oh, is this really our thing? But we were like, okay, let's do it. This is great. It's a great idea, and we then invented, the, like, it's a freedom of speech, and everyone has their own opinion about what's great about Sweden, and also we thought that isn't it's really amazing that the Swedish people tell you guys what's fun and nice about Sweden instead of a marketing firm doing this. Mm-hmm. So that's why we were like, oh, let's go for it. Yeah, uh, I thought it was an amazing amount of trust to put in the Swedish people <laughs> because <laughs> you're basically uh, relying on, you know, everyone I talked to was very, you know, even the people I woke up out of a dead sleep, you know, uh, were, were very polite uh, and the very helpful and, and ready to answer any and every question I had, so um, and I, I just, I, I shudder to think, like I said to some of them that, you know, what would happen if you did this to America, like, just let any any yahoo answer the phone <laughs> it's like, I don't yeah, know you know, I don't know how long it would last <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we had that, like, thought in the beginning before we launched it mm-hmm. uh, that what happened if this really goof had answered this phone or if someone a really rude person is calling Mm -hmm. but then we realized that it could be I can go to you guys I can go to the states and I can tell my if I have any bad opinion about Sweden I can tell you that in a bar in a restaurant or something Mm -hmm. and this is the nice thing about it this is a two part conversation it's not something you can spread on Twitter or uh, Facebook or something Mm -hmm. this is the conversation between you and and you can always hang up if it gets really bad (laughs) that's true you don't have to stay on. Yeah. Um, and also, we record all the calls. That's true. Just a security check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, but anyway, the reason I'm I'm calling you is that I, I recorded. Uh, this was like ten. I do a one episode a week, so this was like ten episodes ago. And I thought, man, so much has changed in the world since the last time I talked to Sweden. <laughs> Let me call them back. And I went. I went to call the Swedish number. And it was and it was over. It was gone. I was I was I was yeah, shocked. It <laughs> was it <laughs> was it always the plan to close it after a certain 
certain amount of time or what? Yeah, we actually were supposed to close after two months, mm. uh, the 6th of June, which is our natural day. Mm. But then we realized, now let's do it for two more weeks. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, our main goal from the beginning was 30,000 calls in mm -hmm. two months and like 2,000 Swedish uh, ambassadors. Mm -hmm. But now we have over 180,000 calls and 32,000 Swedish uh, people has been answering so it's so incredible with all this engagement from the Swedish people that they really wanted to answer mm -hmm. and you were so afraid in the beginning is someone going to call mm -hmm. is someone going to answer it shit what's the what's the plan if nothing happens but then mm -hmm. it was crazy and also because you know it's um uh because we are a non-profit organization we, don't have, we can't afford the um, the what do you call it switchboard mm. uh, solution right. that's what's cost us yeah mm -hmm. and also I think it's uh, aren't you supposed to leave the party when it's most fun <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah you don't want to overstay your welcome that's that's a fair no, no, that's no. a fair <laughs> Um, but now I dare, the whole, I dare the states now to take over this because it's a great mm -hmm. idea. And in the beginning, we didn't think about the freedom aspect, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great freedom thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. my, my hope for the thing, wouldn't this be cool if you had one worldwide number mm -hmm. and like, for instance, America has it for two months and then uh, maybe Brazil has it for mm. two months and oh, then maybe Iraq idea. has it yeah. for two months. Wouldn't yeah. that be awesome? That would be, yeah, absolutely. No, as soon as yeah. I heard the, the concept of it, I was like, oh, this is great. Why doesn't every country have its own number? Why can't I yeah. just call whatever country I want to call? Um, but, yeah, no, uh, it's it's really, and I feel like I feel like the world would be probably a little bit better place, I would think, if people could just call and talk to somebody yeah, because, in another country, you know? Yeah, because as you had a lot of nice calls, I also had a nice, lot of nice calls talking to people that I would never have been talking to otherwise, you know, mm -hmm. people from Africa, Istanbul, Istanbul, wasn't that really interesting, mm -hmm. asking them how to live right now mm -hmm. when they have all these bombs and everything mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. how their daily life goes on, right. and then I talked to this tomato farmer in Illinois, <laughs> he taught me everything, how to grow tomatoes in oh, Sweden, wow. I was like, okay, my summer place is in Gotland, this really small island next to Sweden, mm -hmm. and he was sitting at the same time looking at this tomato website, oh, you have this <laughs> sort of tomato, and yeah, because you have a lot of caulk in your, uh -huh. uh, so you go for that, I was uh -huh. like, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's interesting though here in America, uh, and this is something I talk to a lot of Swedes about. You know, it was the of course the American election is is coming up here, and yeah. you know, yeah. so we spent a lot of time, and it's it's one thing to experience it from America, but it was quite another to hear <laughs> hear Swedes talk uh, about Donald Trump, for example. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, everyone has an opinion. So yeah, and it's. It's like what happened in Great Britain as well mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going out to UA, and it's really, you know, what's happening to the world. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting to talk to someone else that's mm -hmm. not in their your own country because most of my friends have the same opinion. Mm -hmm. But then you talk to someone else, and you're like, okay, yeah. your point of view, but... Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, I understand, you know, now talking to you, I do understand about, how, you know, the costs associated with, with keeping that open. And it kind of sounds like it was always the plan to only have it be a limited uh, thing. So I, I'm, I am sad that it is gone, but is there any chance, you know, it could come back? I mean, if, if you guys get another, you know, in section of funds or something? Yeah, we, we, we have so many people that have been calling, you, uh, calling us, oh, we can support it, it's okay, blah, blah, blah. But you said, okay, let's close it for now, and then maybe we take it up, you know, later on. Mm. We never, like, say never, but you don't know. <laughs> I, I would I would be lovely that the Swedish government, if they would say, oh, let's do this like a permanent thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, uh, cool. I think it's... I but think I don't it's know a, if this... Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if the Swedish government will, you know, like, okay, let's everyone answer it. But uh, but at, at least our prime minister, he answered for like two hours. <laughs> and it was yeah. so much fun. Yeah. Have you seen that clip? I, I have, actually. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Are you really the prime minister of Sweden? <laughs> <laughs> of all the people you could call, yeah. Um, yeah. No, the, one of the people I, I ended up getting was one of the developers. So I don't remember their names, but... I, I called and they were like, "Well, you've you've accidentally called the, exactly the right person because we're we're some of the developers of the, of the number." And I was like, "Wow, oh, what was are it, the chances?" Uh, Jukke or uh, Magnus or someone? Was it a guy or a girl? Uh, it, was, it was it was two guys. Um, the, and they answered. It was like first thing in the morning. I I wish I could remember their names. Um, well, I, if you want to look it up, uh, it should be like it should be like Magnus or Gustav because they were the one who, uh, or maybe Jukke. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, because you know we just built a. Have you, did you know that we won like twelve lions in Cannes? Do you know the Cannes Lion Festival? The what? The Cannes Lion Festival down in France in the Riviera. Oh, oh, the the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, no, it's not the film festival. Not the film it's festival. Ten Lions. Mm. It's like this uh, world championship in communication. Oh no, I'm not and familiar. Advertising. Huh. It's really, it was really crazy. Mm. Like the small country Sweden, we won like or the Swedish number, we won like twelve lions. Mm. Uh, so we were on stage every day, like taking out, uh, taking this uh, lions, and of course America got like three hundred lions. <laughs> but uh, it was really cool that. Our little campaign mm -hmm. won like the titanium the last day, which is like the best in class show thing. Uh, so it's really amazing. So last week we were in France. Oh. You know, just, yeah, it Sweet. was really fantastic. Well, yeah. that's great. Well, I mean, it's what well, it's a well deserved uh, honor for sure. I mean, I was I was intrigued right away. Um, but uh, well, now that I have have you on the phone, is there anything you want to say to America? Um. <laughs> oh, I wanted to thank you because I mean, you were like the top countries calling. Ah. Uh, it was like uh, you can see it on the website. I think it was like thirty three percent of all the calls was from America. Ah. Um, that's amazing, and also. So it's really cool that all all the Americans I talk to they know so much about Sweden. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah, it was really like <laughs> goofy qu questions like do you have an IKEA in every corner or <laughs> is it ice bears on the streets? Of course, <laughs> but it was also you know when we had our um, running up uh, uh, we had this uh, uh, what do you call that she's a leader of one of the parties here in Sweden mm -hmm. and she, she answered the phone for like one hour as well mm -hmm. and this guy called from the States and he knows everything about the Swedish <laughs> politics she was like oh you set this call up didn't you we were like no we didn't this is a random call <laughs> This is like, no, you set it up. No, oh. no. But how does this guy living in America know about me? I'm not the prime minister. Right, but right. But he knows everything about it. Mm hmm Yeah. And it was uh, it, it was uh, lots of fun, and I love this tomato farmer. <laughs> and then I, I talked to this. Uh, you know, a lot of people called, you know, mm -hmm. sitting on, you know, before they were going out, and like, oh, let's call Sweden. And, I called. <laughs> and my brother who lives in New York, he was like, Jenny, I'm so tired of hearing your voice. <laughs> and uh, as soon as I turn on TV, radio, or reading in the papers, it's just you all the all over, or the <laughs> Swedish number. And I was like, okay, so that's the way it goes when you do something good. <laughs> Wow, that's that's awesome. And yeah. also, also what I, what I hear a lot of about is people that you know they've been studying Swedish mm -hmm. on like internet, mm -hmm. and they just called you know, or they have like relatives who were Swedish way back, mm. like fifth generation or something, mm -hmm. and they just called to practice their Swedish. <laughs> Isn't that also awesome? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I was amazed how well everyone I spoke to uh, spoke English. It was it was just flawless. I I didn't. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Even people in uh, the dead of sleep were still <laughs> mastering the language. I was like, wow, I wouldn't no. be speaking English right now, even though I'm a native speaker. You know? <laughs> now, a, lot of, a lot of people have been studying, you know, you take one year mm -hmm. off 
from high school and then you go there. Oh. I actually went to seven and eighth grade in Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. My stepfather worked at the embassy. Oh, wow. So that's why I know it. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I was just yeah. really impressed with uh, with their knowledge of, of the language, and, and yeah, it's just like everyone in uh, everyone in not America is. It's not weird to know more than one language, but it's 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 more rare in America too. You know, as uh, as John McClane and Die Hard says, I only know two languages: <laughs> English and bad English. You know. <laughs> Yeah. No, uh, mostly of us knows English, though. Mm-hmm. Even if you have a British accent, or you have an American accent, or you have an Australian accent. It uh, <laughs> depends on where you have been studying. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, but uh, well, I I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to uh, to talk to me. Um, you know, I uh, I really think it was a great idea. Uh, you guys uh, did a great job with it. Um, you know, if you want to look me up, uh, if you ever do anything in the future that you want to talk to America about, I'd be more oh, than willing be great. Yeah. Uh, to talk to you guys. I can give you the. Yeah, but can you send me an email? Uh, yeah, can I, I can. Email address? Uh, yeah, if if you can write it down, I can give you my email address real quick. Yeah, what? I have to go inside. I'm in my summer house, so. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm actually here for a week working now. Oh and it's wow! Awesome. Wow, I'm very jealous. Sitting, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. I would oh, say. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And la- la- uh, next week we have this big thing in uh, in this big called Almadalem. Mm-hmm. It's a really great thing as well. It's been on for like this early 70s. Mm-hmm. Uh, when all the poli- political people are coming to this Gotland, this little island, Vispe, mm-hmm. and you meet, yeah, you meet your voters, you meet, uh, it's lobbying, uh, it's a lot of organizations. It's like uh, three, over 3,000 seminaries for one week. Mm. And on this really small place, it's like 60,000 people coming. It's so crazy, but it's so good because I can walk on the streets and I can meet the prime minister and mm. I can chat with him. Wow. Uh, or I can meet, you know, this uh, the boss of the Swedish Red Cross here in Sweden. Mm. And, okay, what are you guys doing? It's such wow. really, you know... Yeah, it's really, really cool thing. Well, that's that reminds me of another thing that I'm I meant to ask you about. Uh, you you guys have one random person again, a random. You're just willing to take anybody. You have that much faith in your in your people uh, to take over the Twitter account of uh, yeah, Sweden. Yeah, that, that was the this is Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Like it's another thing that it's like wow. You just you 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 have enough faith in in people that live there that you just I ah, just tweet for the country for a week to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, I, I, th- I think that thing is still on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been on for like four years. Oh, no, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so what's your email? Or where can I find you? Uh, my website, if you just want, my email is on the website. It, it, it'll have everything on there. It's a www. Yeah. Dot the, T-H-E. Uh, what it, T? Uh, T is in Tom. Uh, H is in yeah. Harry. E is in Eric. Um, Rob R O R O B. So that's R is in Robert. O is in Orange. B is in Bear. Um, uh, <laughs> Rob. Yeah. Burgess B U R G E S S. So uh, R is in Robert. Uh, yeah, Burgess. You got it. <laughs> Show. Yeah. Uh, dot com. Show. Com. Yep, and it's uh, oh. and it's episode four is the one I uh, I called you know I probably say about a dozen Swedish people for for three hours so episode four. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, thank you again for for talking to me. Enjoy your your wonderful <laughs> your wonderful uh, summer home there. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, <laughs> it's really great. I, I will send you I will send you a picture of this island. It's it's actually if you have Gotland next to Sweden mm. and this is a really really tiny island north of Gotland called Fora ah. which is like amazing oh gosh yeah well, that sounds awesome cool and it's not you know it's not a fancy thing it's just you know it's just 
heaven. I yeah. Would say. <laughs> well, I'm I'm convinced. If you ever go to Sweden, you have to go here. Okay, I will. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks so much for talking to me, and uh, yeah, definitely get in touch, and uh, you know, you'll you'll be on the next episode on Friday. So. Oh, perfect. Cool. Really nice talking to you as well. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Have a good rest of your day. Here. Uh, and now get America to do this. Get America to do this. All right. You hear that, America? Yeah. You've been challenged by Sweden. <laughs> the the gauntlet has yeah. been been laid down. <laughs> yeah. But, you have uh, to do this. This is so much fun. Oh, I totally And agree. I want to call America. <laughs> yeah. I want to be there for that. That should be interesting. So, um, yeah. cool. All right. Well, uh, I'll talk nice to you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.